Hello students, myself Dr. Mandar Mulik and I am going to discuss a topic phytochemicals as nutraceuticals. This is a, one of the important topic from the subject nutraceuticals and dietary supplements which is a part of TYB farm Mumbai University syllabus. If you see the course objective, it mentions that to expose the learner to health benefits of various classes of phytochemical along with their salient chemical features pharmacokinetics, doses and marketed preparation. At the end of this topic, the outcome is expected from the student that they able to discuss chemistry of phytochemicals, their health benefits, pharmacokinetics and recommended doses along with the marketed preparation. Essential fatty acids. It is a group of fatty acids that can only be obtained from the diet as the body of a human lack the enzymes to synthesize them and that's why they are known as the essential fatty acid. Those includes linolenic acid, eicosapentaenoic acid that is also known as the EPA, docosahexaenoic acid which is also known as the DHA, alpha linolenic acid that is also known as the ALA and gamma linolenic acid which is also known as the GLA. All possesses multiple unsaturated double bonds and hence are termed polyunsaturated fatty acid. The first of this double bond in EPA, DHA and ALA is located at third carbon atom from the its terminal position. Hence they are described as omega-3 or N3 PUFAs. Linoleic acid and GLA that is a gamma linoleic acid have their first double bond at the sixth carbon from the terminal position and hence they are termed as omega-6 or N6 PUFAs. Microalgal fermentation is also an option for production of DHA and EPA inside the human body. Many of the important functions of a body are thought to require adequate tissue level of DHA particularly for brain and eye functions. DHA which is the C22 fatty acid is produced in the body from EPA which is the C20 fatty acid by desaturation and elongation reaction. If you see the structure, the first structure is a docosahexaenoic acid as a DHA and second structure is of a eicosapentaenoic acid that is a EPA. The omega-6 fatty acids such as linoleic acid converted into the GLA and then it converted into the TGLA which is a dihomo gamma linoleic acid and finally to the arachnic acid by the different different enzymes. The cyclooxygen 2 which is a COX2 enzyme which convert the arachnic acid into the prostaglandin E2 which is the main inflammatory precursor in the body. The DGLA also get converted to the prostaglandin E1 with the help of cyclooxygenase 1 that is a COX-1 enzyme. EPA and DHA are converted into the neuroprotectives such as protectins and resolvins. It is to be considered that it is observed that EPA and DHA are very important component of the grey matter of in the brain and very important part of the retina as well. They are present at a high concentration in the fish oil. A metabolism of this fatty acids shows the omega-3 fatty acids such as ALA is converted into series of following molecules like steradonic acid, eicosatretranoic acid and docosapentaenoic acid and then finally DHA. DHA can compete and inhibit the COX2 enzyme which will reduce the formation of PG2 which will bring the reduction into the inflammation. DHA containing fatty acid triglycerides are hydrolyzed by pancreatic lipase in the duodenum to release free DHA. Up to 95% of free DHA is absorbed and less for triglycerides and esters forms. Maximum plasma concentration in the body occurs after 5 hours of ingestion of the fish oil. Administration of 3 to 12 gram fish oil daily for 28 days produces rapid increase of EPA and DHA plasma concentration at all dosages. Sources Oil obtained from body of mackerel that is a scrumber, scrubrus family scrumbridi. Oil from liver of shark order silachimorpha oil from liver of shark and cod the composition of oil have the liver oil contains squalene 
LDL and vitamin A, 10 to 20 percent of PUFAs, out of which 30 to 40 percent is DHA, body and other parts consist of PUFA, LDL, vitamin A and D, 5 to 10 percent of PUFA, out of which 10 to 15 percent is DHA. The therapeutic uses, it is used in area such as joint pain, example is a Eskimo population revealing a relatively low incidences of musculoskeletal diseases which may be attributed to their high dietary intake of fish. Cardiovascular protective agent, the omega 3 and omega 6 PUFAs are believed to be beneficial in preventing or reversing high cholesterol levels. Use in case of uh, management of eye health, immaturity in raw cell functions due to lack of DHA and EPA is observed. In mental health maintenance, enhancement in learning ability or subsequently increase into the grey matter of the brain is observed with the enhanced uptake of DHA and EPA. Bones also shows unsaturated fatty acids can prevent loss in bone mineral density. In the patient suffering from atopic dermatitis, it is observed that if they take a fish oil in a good concentration, it can be healed much better. There are up till now no legal restrictions or regulations. The recommended dose of the fish oil is around 1.5 to 2.5 gram per day and formulations are available in the soft gel as well as a hard gel capsule. The another essential fatty acid is a gamma linolenic acid from flaxseed. If you see the structure, it is the omega 6 fatty acid. The metabolism of the GLA shows it is an essential intermediate between the linoleic acid and DGLA and hence prostaglandins, thrombaxins and leukotrins are basically dependent on the GLA concentration. Beneficial in disease state where it is not biothesized from the linoleic acid. GLA is not widely found in substantial amount in nature but it is present in evening primrose seed oil and black currant seed oil. Administered case of atopic eczema and premenstrual syndromes. GLA is an important intermediate in the production of prostaglandins. The therapeutic use in case of skin health, joint health for rheumatoid arthritis patient etc. Recommended dose is 360 to 2. 1800 mg per day. Formulations are again available in the form of a oil as such or a soft gel capsule. Alpha linoleic acid from again flaxseed. It is the N3 PUFA or omega 3 fatty acid. It is obtained from flaxseed which is also called as a linseed seal. It is in oil of linseed present about 50%. The health recommendation to replace saturated fats with unsaturated fats have often resulted in replacement by omega 6 rather than omega 3. As a result, many people are deficient in omega 3 fatty acids such as ALA. Flax seeds provide the richest plant source precursor. The ALA which is converted to long chain fatty acids and prevent disease associated with decrease omega 3 fatty acid. ALA is absorbed and partly converted to EPA or DHA. Desaturates enzyme degrades both ALA and linoleic acid causing reduction in synthesis of DHA from ALA. The therapeutic areas where it is mostly used is a cancer prevention because of the high concentration of lignans, respiratory health because of the antioxidant activity. Recommended dose is around 1 to 2 gram per day. Formulations are available in the form of a soft gel capsule. Now, if you see the metabolism chart of all of this, you can see 
you can see the omega 3 fatty acids their physiological level is around 1 to 3 percent of total body fat dietary level when it is less than 10 percent of total fat and major metabolites are either ALA EPA which they convert to DHA gamma lunulinic acid physiological level are about 4 to 6 microgram per ml of the blood dietary levels has to supposed to be minimum but not mentioned and major metabolites are DGLA, alacronic acid and etc. Alpha linolenic acid the physiological levels in between 10 to 30 milligram per ml alpha linolenic acid the physiological levels are in between 10 to 30 microgram per ml of the body fat the dietary levels are maintained to around 1.5 gram per day and major metabolite is DHA for DHA the dose is maximum given is 1200 mg which attained the Cmax around 130 microgram per ml for EPA the maximum dose is around 1140 mg which attained the Cmax around 126 microgram per ml and for GLA the dose is around 1500 mg which attained the Cmax at 73 microgram per ml so in today's topic we have seen a class of phytochemical which is also used as a nutraceutical that is uh, essential fatty acids basically there are two types of essential fatty acids one from animal origin and one from plant origin the animal origin essential fatty acids are basically get from the fish liver oil and plant origin are basically get from the linseed seed oil then we have also studied their silent chemical features like their chemical structure their chemical orientation even we have seen the pharmacokinetics and their doses now from this topic the students will be able to answer the chemistry of phytochemicals which are used under the title of essential fatty acids they can able to tell the health benefits of those essential fatty acids they will be able to identify the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics parameters of those essential fatty acid so with this we can able to justify the outcome of the topic thank you